This is the 2018 Mako 284cc. First off, I think this is simply a beautiful boat. Hey, 35 miles an hour. The mid-range acceleration of this new platform is awesome. The 284cc is sturdy and strong for serious blue water fishing with a one-piece fiberglass stringer grid. And it's quiet too. That's thanks to the foam injected hull and that the hull and deck joints are chemically bonded. It has a dry weight of 7,270 pounds, but the twin 300 horsepower Verados on the all new V8 platform from Mercury pack more than enough torque. Wow. And it shoots you to 20 miles per hour in just three and a half seconds and to 30 in just two more top speed as tested was just over 55 miles per hour. But man, what a smooth ride. And quiet too, as you'd expect with the Verado name. But the beauty of the new V8 platform is you can bypass one of the mufflers to celebrate the sound of your motors if you want. Right? I was happy with the twin 300s, but if you want even more performance, this is rated to a max of 700, so you could bump these up to twin 350s. As for the handling, whoa, that is tight. Well, the adaptive speed control, which automatically adjusts the RPM in turns to maintain your speed while cornering, coupled with the aggressive deep V hull on this Mako, means this turns as hard as you want. I've never been on a 28-footer that can handle like this. Oh my gosh. Actually, it probably turns harder than the average bear will want to push it through. But it's nice for the boat to outperform your expectations, so you're never going to be left feeling like you're wanting more. The Mako 284cc has a length, surprise, surprise, of 28 feet 4 inches. The beam is 9 feet 10 inches, so you have a lot of room, even with a nice beefy center console, which I love having an extended oversized hardtop so you get lots of protection from sun and from rain. You have plenty of room to walk around on either side. And up here at the bow, even though they've got that aggressive deep V hull, they've managed to keep it wide open and push a lot of that beam really far forward. Right at the very bow, easy access to your anchor locker both port side and starboard side, you have underneath the seats, massive 99 quart or 94 liter fish boxes. Now these are drained. Of course, you can use these as dry storage if you like, but they got the nice gaskets here, nice and solid. And right in the center on the floor, speaking of massive, you have a strained storage that is 470 quart or 445 liters of room in there. Moving back to right in front of the center console, you have wide seating for two, storage underneath, cup holders, who would love sharks. Within the center console compartment, you'll find six feet of headroom, battery switches, and the batteries themselves. But all the way up, you got the hardtop here, the fiberglass hardtop. Now this is sturdy enough that you could mount outriggers on it. Obviously, as you can see, this does not have that option. But something I do love is how wide it is. A lot of times I've been on center consoles that have a hardtop and it's just over the console itself. And that's great if you're boating at high noon when the sun's directly overhead. Otherwise, the sun's coming in from the side. And when you start talking about rain, forget about it. Those are useless. This one offers a lot of protection, but still nice and open. You don't feel like you're enclosed. And with this high windscreen here, you still have the good sight lines, but when you're running, deflects all the wind on a cooler day or in the rain. Trust me, having been hit in the face with rain at 40, 50, and 60 miles an hour, it does not feel good. This will protect you, which means the anglers out there that don't let a little bit of drizzle slow them down, they won't be squinting on your way back. Nice, solid, sturdy rails, grab rails, built in absolutely everywhere. 
because you instinctively grab for something. You don't want to have one little handle that you got to try and find. So if you come around here, you'll be able to see this big blank canvas right here. This is actually great. All the anglers out there will instinctively know why this is good. It means you can mount whatever you want and customize your boat as you see fit. Or you don't really need any of that stuff because you got everything you need right here with your Mercury display just below it, the joystick for your joystick piloting with your twin Verados, the throttles, we've got the one lever on, so you just have to work one throttle. And another clever touch, this clear plastic right here, not only does it protect you from accidentally hitting switches, but you can see down underneath. You'd be surprised how often that kind of thing is not thought about. So well done, whoever at Mako came up with that idea. Underneath the leaning post, captain's chair, you have easy access to all your hoses and everything running through your bait well, live well. The captain's chair or leaning post itself, as you can see, beautiful, boom, another shark. I love touches like that. Room for two and underneath, room for storage for some of your important items and documents or anything you want easy access to. Behind it, behind the leaning post, you got bait prep station here underneath, freshwater sink, and your massive 50 gallon, 189 liter live well and bait well. Always important on a fishing boat, you got a wash down shower hose, and in here, a clever, clean, compact storage station for all your tackle and lures. Now obviously this isn't going to be all of your tackle and all of your lures, but all of your favorites, easy access, you'll always have them, and when you don't need them, you wouldn't even know they're here. At the immediate stern, you have easy access to your batteries, lots of the cables, all that fun stuff that you hopefully don't have to access that often, but when you need to, you want to do it easily, and to do checks. And on both port and starboard side, you have even more deep drained in-floor storage. Directly underneath, same both port and starboard side, easy access rod storage for your run and gun fishing. If the five rocket launchers up here and the four directly below aren't enough. It's incredibly ambitious to go after the best of both worlds in anything, but I've got to say, Mako's done a great job checking both boxes, both the serious offshore fishing factors and the genuinely comfortable family fun factors on the Mako 284cc. Same goes for Mercury with their new 300 horsepower Verados here. You have the quiet, reliable performance you've come to know, love, and expect from the Verado name. When your family's on board, you don't want to hear them. You're going boating, you're not going engining. But when you got your buddies on and you want to show off that you got a couple big beefy V8s hanging off the back of your Mako, push of a button, turn off one of the mufflers, have the exhaust come out the side, and you can hear those. <laughs> 